know what? After the last review, I decided that November is going to be the month of reviewing wreckers. So we're going to be taking a look at some more wreckers from different continuities. We took a look at Movie Reverse Wrecker. Now we're going to be taking a look at one of the earlier on wreckers, Generations Roadbuster. Now this big old bloated behemoth of a bot is just really good and I'm very lucky to have him and I'm also very lucky because this was one of the first gifts that I ever got from Kid Convoy 82 so thanks so much and it's so refreshing to have a roadbuster just all on his own that's not a swindle repaint or for some reason a repaint of Ultra Magnus those were a couple that kind of worked not as much as like say Cybertron Hotshot or something like that and it also definitely feels more like roadbuster than the Dark of the Moon one but just the way that he's built He's a big, muscular dude, and, and he looks like he gives no fucks. Which, as I understand, is kind of the Wrecker way, so... Makes sense. Now, what sets Roadbuster apart from all the other Wreckers is not only his beef and heft, but also the amount of weapons that he came with. Just look at all these. There's so many different combinations that you can do with these weapons, it's actually insane. One of my favorite combinations used to be just to give him this big old rifle combining three things together keeping the shoulder launcher up here and this pistol right here in his other hand. And then you can do with this one whatever you want with, the, this actually is a spring-loaded launcher and the missile from this is actually being used as Mirage's shoulder launcher. Not like it would matter anyway. But yeah, there are just so many different ways that you can combine weapons. It's entirely up to you how you want to display Roadbuster with his weapons. So, might as well go nuts a little bit. I kind of love that this was just kind of the thing at the time in Generations, just slapping in a bunch of weapons just because. That's how it was with World 2, and really, now it's just making sense that it was just for the Wreckers. Now, despite this guy's flaws that he kind of has, which honestly are minor, really, I can still safely say that this is a figure well worth having, and definitely worth your time. Especially since, in the packaging, you get a sticker sheet. So why don't we keep the good times rolling with this guy's vehicle mode? And again, just like the robot mode, the vehicle mode is just so full of beef. Like, I don't think anyone's gonna complain with a vehicle mode that looks this good. I understand that it's not exactly as G1 as it could have been, but who really cares sometimes? Honestly, this is probably one of the best representations of Roadbuster that we've ever had or are ever going to get. And the fun doesn't even stop there. You can take all the weapons that were fun in the robot mode and slap them all on here in the vehicle mode. And this is just in the realm of stupidity that's just so much fun. <laughs> this is just awesome. And no one's gonna tell otherwise. This is just so much fun. Yes, it's a good collector's piece that looks great with the rest of your collection, but with something like this that gives you so much play value, it's fun. And that's one of the best things about Transformers, is just that this happens a lot. I'm really happy about it. It's why I'm happy to be a toy person, it's why I'm happy to be with the community that I'm with, have the friends that I have. I'm just happy. So again, thank you so much to Kid Convoy 82 for saying this my way. I am truly not worthy. You are an incredible man. So that's been another review from you guys. Thank you all very much for watching. I've been 01 Trans Fan, the number one. I'll talk to you all next time. Take it easy, guys.